So you saw the fiberglass in the last video. Um, we put one and a half ounce cloth on with epoxy resin that worked really well, bonded to the eighth inch uh, plywood on the outside, bonded everything together. You can see I used a drywall cutter that we showed on the last video as well to cut out the windows, mounted the windows in here, window slash skylight up here. I'm sitting where will be the queen bed in here so you can really start to see the interior volume start to take shape. These Arctic turn windows look really fantastic, let in a lot of light, which is what we're looking for. Really quality fit and finish. Uh, you can see the insulation everywhere. We will have a cabinet here. Um, that th There's the sink you can see that will open to the outside. Basically, this is the bed here, so at night you can lean back and open the skylight up or just look up at the stars. So really excited, cannot wait to get out there and get camping. Uh, you can see the bathroom that we've put the walls in on either side there. have not put the back piece in yet, so you can see the where the toilet and the shower go there. Those are the vent pipes that run up through the side. Uh, the vent that I showed before, a low-profile marine vent. Oh, and I see a hose clamp I need to tighten. The bunk beds that are back here just fit the max air fan in. So you can see it's all starting to take shape. This PVC or this ABS pipe, rather, that's down here, that's across, is actually where we are going to store our sewer hose. So I'll show you that on the other side. We bought a marine hatch. That was not quite the right size, but that's okay. My circle template on the router, and I cut a couple of discs here to adapt from this size to give me some backing for the ring on the outside. And there's just a marine lid that screws on here. And then there's our sewer hose right there. So it fit inside a piece of four inch ABS. It will not fit this end in first. It fit the other end in first, so I put a union on here that gave me the extra about three-eighths of an inch so that that would fit right in there. The cover will go on there. Since we don't have a bumper or anything on the back, that's where our hose will store right under there. We also used that cutter and cut out along the bottom of the frame, and then we applied another little layer of resin there to further bond that. We're also going to wrap the Raptor lining under there as well, just to give everything a double seal. They've constructed the box for out for the front. It's sitting outside there. It's being painted right now, uh, but you can really start to see the shape of everything in the trailer starting to take form. Uh, the hatches are next. You can see we've got we painted around the edges of the hatches. We open them up taped off and then sprayed these so that the slot around here would be primed. Uh, actually, it's a flat camouflage, so we don't have to use our Raptor lining down in that gap and potentially cause a closure problem. So, um, it made the box again here for the front. I got a couple propane tanks that'll go in there. Made a Hold down for those yesterday, you'll be able to see much easier once that's all installed. Uh, now I need to make a door here pretty soon, so it's not open to everyone, but progress. Again, any questions about anything, just leave a comment or shoot me an email. Happy to chat about anything. So what you'll see here is after my wife has spent an awful lot of time with the fiberglass cloth, rolling out the polyester resin over everything, getting a nice even coat, we've masked off the windows, we've installed the hatches, you can see the paper over everything. As we start to add the Raptor lining on the outside, we just want to make sure we're not going to get that Raptor lining anywhere that we don't want it. The gaskets on the windows said not to use any sealant, and so we very carefully masked those off. You see we added some primer to that Max Air fan, added primer to all of the plastic things where we thought the Raptor lining might not stick as well. So here you can see she's mixed up the Raptor lining with their approved roller, 
just applying this, we decided to do this with the roller instead of the spray gun, so we wouldn't make nearly as much of a mess. So in the next video, you can will be able to see how this looks once it's all finished and we're ready to move forward.